So you can't <clears throat> so you can't really see how steep that uh, hill is but that's that's a pretty damn hard incline and M10 fall like a champ just straight up it let's get out there because I got uh, disturbed by a dog and the uh, The, the trail up here, we went along here the other night on the Sherman S which obviously got really good suspension and this hasn't so I'm feeling the effects on me on my back a little bit so there's a lot of brickwork further up where the old bit of the railway used to be I think um, but it's a great little trail, I just wanted to sort of get out this morning and try the trail out on the M10 4 just because it's, uh, it's one on my doorstep which means I can just pop out at lunch times and do this one when it's nice. There's still a bit of water around, but we'll see how we go. Those little obstacles I suppose I could have ridden through there a little bit but no issue for a little M10 4 so far so good this trail is brilliant it's not that long I don't think um, although it does go up to the next town so I'll probably take the bigger one out if we're gonna go up to the next town um, it's probably only a couple of miles round but it's a fun little ride I need to practice a bit more on that slope M104 just ripped up that trout or that hill, no worries.
I'm also <laughs> still still very iffy on the uh, the real uneven stuff on the M10 IV because it's very squirrely but that's what you know it's the nature of it and um, getting on and off is still iffy but you know manage look at this beautiful Steps to try on the big one, <laughs> and this is cool. Right, so we went that way the other night. I'm gonna go this way a little bit, see where that goes. And then we're gonna go that way. This is all kind of very raw and uncut. So yeah, hope you enjoy it. If you do, comment, likes, all the normal stuff. <clears throat> and hope you can hear me because I've got music playing in here as well. <laughs> So that just looks like a loop of the field. <clears throat> All right, we're going to go up on the top of the railway and see um, see if I can see where whereabouts that kind of might bring us out. I have a feeling it brings us out lavender fields, which is sort of near where I live. So um, we'll see. Ventures on the M10 Mini. and stairs for people that love those, especially these extreme ones. Pretty handle, I could wheel up that. I'll give you guys a view. See if we can see this side.
fair. Well, well, I don't know. So it's the wheel brake. Press all that to the wheel brake. Okay, probably not going to take it too much further this way on the M10 floor. Um, I think I pretty much know where this goes. If you look over that way, it goes up the side of the field to the back. There's a pub. I think over there might be the Wilbury. And the top of there is the bit you go across. Actually, no, that's not the Wilbury. So that's the main road. And I don't think there's a path out of there unless you can cross over. It takes you up to the Wilby, which is right on the top of the hill. And then you basically go around the back and you go to the lavender fields and round the back and you come back round. So um, I'm probably gonna take the Sherman S down here just cause if I have to get onto a road and stuff, there's no way I really wanna do it on the little M10 i I'm not confident enough on this one to, to do that. to get my foot in just right on this a because of the pads and because like the, the it's a those that like ride m104s i'm probably doing it really wrong i know it's a bit of a hop on and, and go any advice in more graceful mounts <laughs> will be uh, much appreciated <clears throat> the stairs <clears throat> so that's so unfair <laughs> what do you reckon stairs on the M10 floor nah <laughs> I'm stupid but not that stupid <laughs> If it was the last set I'd probably I'd probably do it on the Sherman. I'm not sure I'd do a double set. I'm not there yet. Because it's the down, get the velocity, and then get over the next one. Um if it was just this set, I'd give that a go. Um never say never, right? <laughs> I didn't think I could ride uh, ride downstairs a year ago. And I can do Several, I wouldn't say massive staircases like Izzy and Co. Shout out to her. She impresses me every single time she goes out. I'm sure she learns something new. <clears throat> Let's get this back on. It's unlikely to be the most refined video known to man. I'm sweating like mad. How unfit am I? It is warm though. Hey, maybe, maybe rate my mounts from one to 10, one being 
in the comments below. Let's make it a bit more interactive, guys. Shouldn't have gone that way. Should have gone around that way. <laughs> and that goes around the other side. Okay, so we know where to do a little field loop. So back there was a little field loop, so that's good to know. Um, so we know where. So we know now and know where that bit comes out. Where that goes, and that bit. There's so much. So look down this bit. bit. All it goes down, literally goes down to. Oh, wow. Wow. So this goes down to a really pretty uh, river. That's pretty cool. Don't think the M104 is uh, waterproof though, right? <laughs> so we won't try that. But that's quite cool. Other comments. A do e pedals, e ride pedals. The fees, if you're watching this, do e, e ride pedals, if I can get it right, work with the M104? Do any of those? And has anyone, whee, has anyone put any on? And how did you get on? Are they better? I mean, these have got, these have got little bits of grip on them, but the e ride ones, I know, for McVeerance, are a lot better. back to where we came so we're gonna head out this heads out into a local village and then it'll be path on the way back which will give my back a bit of a rest because I do miss suspension when I'm on this only because my, my back and my knees aren't, aren't particularly great but yeah definitely miss suspension a lot of the shit I'm an S when you're on a little one like this which is why, in some ways, I'm interested in the Falcon because the Falcon with a, even a tiny bit of suspension would do wonders, I think. But I've, I mean, I've ridden the M10 4 off road, so I mean, probably not what you guys think off road. Off road being like a light trail.
That was a cool little side side quest. Morning. was me not looking where I was going trying to avoid people so you do the right thing and you just you, you still get screwed So we're just going to check out another path. Again, this is the ones that I can do during my lunch break, working from home. So let's have a look and see where this one brings me up. where that comes out but we'll have to explore another day on that one <coughs> Excuse me, cough. I think I think I know where that comes out there's loads of where I live there's loads of sort of side roads and off roads and paths and alleyways so there's a lot to explore where I live we've done a lot during Covid obviously nothing else to do so we walked and we kind of explored around town a little bit this one I can't quite picture the, uh, picture the road. I'm sure if I went to the end, turn the corner, I'd probably know exactly where it is. But <clears throat> full up video for that. That's why the M104 is so good. And why, like, 
you know, okay, hasn't got suspension, but um, it is one of my favourite wheels. I'm going to get on the other side because it's got better paths. We'll go around that. Let's go down this way, see where this goes. Okay, got a little bit turned around. I know where I am. <laughs> but, um, there's a cut through that I come out to, which I think is further on. I may have missed it. So I'm going to go like that way because it comes out nearer uh, to where I need to go. It's not that way. It's not that way.
okay, bizarre. I seem to have got that so wrong, and I don't know why or how. But never mind. Um, because I usually come through an industrial estate and I seem to have missed whatever road I usually come I go out that way but hey, maybe for the next one we'll pop down I don't think the coffee shop's open this morning though, until like 11 which is come on guys <laughs> nine, 9 o'clock at least Open. They'll be open at 10, they'll be open. We'll get, who knows what time Guido will show up. <laughs> we Coffee shop not open yet, might be in a bit, but uh, we're going to leave it for today. Ooh, that's handy. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this little explore on the M10 4. I'm getting, I am still getting used to it. I oh, know I keep saying that, but yeah. See you guys soon. Bye.